Vanderbilt University faces a $10 million lawsuit from a former student who was expelled over allegations of sexual assault. The lawsuit claims the school discriminated against the student because of his sex. News Channel 5's Kyle Haran poured over the lawsuit today. And Kyle, what'd you find? Well, I found that the suit claims the discrimination because Vanderbilt has a culture of uh, discrimination that is um, hostile to men who are accused of sexual assault by women. Our legal analyst says that the suit could have a wide reach. They're known only as ZJ and AH in the suit. ZJ, the plaintiff, a man who lost it all following sexual assault allegations. A.H., the woman who accused Z.J. of the assault, claims Z.J. choked her in his dorm room following a tailgate. The suit is 99 pages long. Let's start on March 19th of last year, just after the tailgate. According to the lawsuit, the pair went back to Z.J.'s dorm after a tailgate party, and Z.J. asked A.H. if she wanted to have sex. When she turned him down and Z.J. couldn't remember her name, he says she became upset. The suit claims ZJ tried to calm her down by putting his hand on the back of her neck. She went to the hospital the next day. However, police didn't charge ZJ, but the suit claims punishment came from the university itself. ZJ was expelled three days before graduation. He lost a scholarship, money paid to Vanderbilt, his degree, and a career as an officer in the Army. Vanderbilt University and the attorney behind the suit both declined comment. So we asked our own legal expert to take a look. I think that we're seeing a lot of college campuses uh, be a little more uh, sensitive uh, and to these sorts of issues. Uh, when they arise, they definitely want to make sure that it's handled in an appropriate fashion and timely. This case could go higher than the circuit court. There are some negligence claims in there. Uh, there are also some federal claims in there. And uh, it could be a situation, too, that uh, Vanderbilt may very well uh, determine that it needs to be in federal court since there are some federal claims. The lawsuit claims Vanderbilt, quote, has created a hostile environment for male students accused of sexually assaulting a female. And, quote, plaintiff was guilty until proven innocent, effectively denying him due process by having him prove his innocence when the female statement is accepted at base value. Vanderbilt released a statement saying that they received the lawsuit and they are currently reviewing it. Kyle Horan, News Channel 5. Thanks, Kyle.